Now we need to focus on getting the basics right because it's amazing how many small SEO problems creep in over time without you even realizing it. It happens to the best of us, so I assure you it's happening to you. The problem is all of those small problems can add up to a huge loss of search traffic, so it's important that you identify them and react to them as quickly as possible. Luckily, there's a couple of tools that we can use to help with that. First is Google Search Console, which is 100% free and the first place you should look for errors. Work through all of the reports in Google Search Console and make a list of errors to fix. This includes the coverage report, mobile usability report, and all of the enhancement reports like uh, breadcrumbs, review snippets, products, FAQ reports, and any additional reports you might see listed here. Once you have a list of all of the errors, you should go and actively fix them. As well as Google Search Console, you can also use a tool like Ahrefs or SEMrush to scan your site for a huge range of SEO problems, which will also notify you instantly if something is wrong. You can set the tools to run either weekly or monthly scans, completely automated, and get reports direct to your inbox. The most important thing to remember though is that you must act on small SEO problems as quickly as possible. Don't let the errors build up over time and then fix them all at once. You need to be proactive with the fixes to stay ahead of the game. Remember, to get ahead this year, you must take care of eat signals, internal linking, site speed and fix any general SEO errors. That way, you can be sure that you've built a solid technical foundation for both Google and humans.